What's going on everyone? It is Mike from the Hardcover Comic here. Today we're going to take a look at the Ascender Deluxe Edition from Image Comics. Uh, talk about the series as well, look at the artwork, flip through the book, take a look at it, uh, and how it, you know, connects to the Descender series that came beforehand. All that fun, amazing stuff. Uh, love the title. I'll tell you that right up front. We'll get into why in a little bit. First off, if you're looking for a place to get this book, organicpricebooks.com, the amazing sponsor of this show, uh, be sure to check out their website, their Instagram, their social media. Uh, there's two promo codes we've got. They've been showing on the screen and they're down in the description below. Easily for you to copy and paste. Can't recommend them enough to pick up your hardcovers like the Ascender Deluxe. Now let's get into the title. So glad Jeff Lemire and Dustin Nguyen weren't done with the uh, uh, Descender uh, world universe uh, and, and decided to make this title Ascender the spiritual successor, the sequel to Descender. Uh, which was the uh, a comic initially published by Image as well, um, ran for, I think, 35 or 36 issues um, that came right before Ascender. So if, if Ascender is sort of the, the first time you're hearing about, uh, about this title, if you're jumping in with Ascender, don't worry. I'm pretty sure you can, but just know that before Ascender came Descender. Uh, which is also an incredible series if you haven't checked it out yet. But Ascender, let's talk about Ascender for a little bit because in theory, this is a new title, right? In theory, someone should be able to jump into this title without having read Descender and get a story here. And, uh, you know, it's tough for me to say with 100% certainty. So please, if you are a person who discovered Ascender before Descender, let us know down in the comment section below. Very curious what your experience was like, but trying to uh, empathize with that kind of person, uh, put myself in their position. I think it's possible here. I mean, no, having read Descender, there's so many great uh, emotional moments. There's so much backstory that you already are aware of with this universe, with some of the characters that show up within the universe. But I think the way Jeff Lemire and Dustin Wynn explore the type, the characters and, and the story and revisit what happened in, in Descender, some of the major events, it, it I think it would be possible for a new reader to get a great experience out of this title. But having said that, uh, I can't recommend reading Descender first uh, enough. Uh, it's uh, Reading Descender first and then getting into Ascender adds so many amazing, uh, amazing characteristics and elements from the story. So many memories that come back from having read Descender. I mean, I, I, I think I binge read it about a year ago, so... Um, all these memories came flooding back. It's it's so great to see uh, how the the universe has changed from from the time of Descender. Um, and really, you you follow uh, the the main character is, is this girl named Mila, who uh, is Andy's daughter. Um, Andy, if you're a new reader, is, is a character who seems to know a lot about this universe. Seems to know a lot about what's going on. And within the the universe now, the the dynamic has changed a lot, particularly from the past. A lot of the planets that were rich and lush with life and civilization have have changed now drastically to to sort of a caveman state. Um, vampires are running amok within the world. Uh, technology is almost entirely non-existent. It's forbidden uh, and magic now rules the universe and rules the land uh, under the, the tyranny of this villainous character named Mother, who is this uh, the character you get introduced to very, very early on in the story, uh, who who is incredibly sinister right off the bat. There's no hiding what kind of what kind of uh, dictatorial, uh, you know, leadership she ha style she has, and uh, leads to a very interesting villain. The, the supernatural aspect of this, again, having been someone who read Descender, which was very sci-fi uh, or primarily sci-fi now seeing the fantasy side of things uh, and seeing this sort of combination of those two concepts and ideas come together is, is really really fascinating uh, it's really great stuff it's jeff lemire so you're going to get really great emotional moments you're going to get really great uh, character interaction um, character growth and and decision making that that changes the the impact of the storyline in a huge major way very awesome stuff. Um, I was very, very happy reading the title. There's so many twists and turns, so many uh, surprises, so many 
great nostalgic moments for Descender fans in particular uh, that just make you so happy that that really hit the feelings. Uh, I, I love it. it. It's so well done. The artwork by Dustin Wynn is what you expect having read Descender. Great, great, great work. Uh, I feel like his facial work is a, is a lot better in this in this title. I feel like it's getting better as his artwork progresses. Not that it was ever terrible, but it just keeps getting better. And the, the colors... The atmosphere that uh, this title has as opposed to Descender, really awesome stuff. Um, really well thought out. Uh, it's an 18 issue title, so you get a good amount of story here. Some of the you know issues do read a bit faster, but overall for the for the money, I think this deluxe edition is worth it if you're you know if, unless you're not a fan of the artwork at all, but it, I personally enjoy it. I feel like once you start reading it, once you get to see the cosmic, the supernatural, uh, it's so awesome. Um, what j Just a really fantastic, fun title. Uh, and and I'm, I'm glad we got to see it. it. It was interesting when this was announced initially because, in theory, this could have just been a continuation of Descender, but I think it was very clever what was done here. Um, I think it lets, you know... it. it it gives an opportunity for people to check out a sender and then potentially go back and 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 read a descender and get like the prologue sort of like the original uh the way the the original trilogy for star wars came out and then the the one through three newer trilogy came out um going back in time so really cool stuff you obviously get introduced to a, a ton of new characters here how the worlds have changed how you know individuals from technological societies and civilizations have adapted to the new methods um, in which people live so a character like Kanto here a uh, really cool character um, you get to see it. it's it's interesting supernatural and, and sci-fi they and fantasy they they, they they do meld sometimes but for the most part I feel like when it, when something's a sci-fi title it goes heavily into sci-fi and when something's a fantasy title they lean heavily into the fantasy um you can see the one thing the binding isn't particularly great this isn't a huge book um to begin with so it's not difficult to read but maybe it's just my copy um not really not really bending there but either way it's not you know it's not terrible there are, there aren't too many two page spreads so you're not getting much gutter loss and honestly, not that much in terms of bonus content, but what you get here is a fantastic uh, sci-fi, fantasy, supernatural mashup story from two incredible creators that have crafted this amazing story over what is now, you know, I mean, what is it, 54 issues at this point um, between Descender and Ascender? It's fantastic. If you're a fan of sci-fi or fantasy, I can't recommend it enough. Pick it up at organicpricebooks.com. Use one of the promo codes being shown on the screen, THC2, THC Ship It Together, um, to get a little bit extra off your purchase. If you've read Ascender, let us know what you think down in the comment section below. What did you think of it compared to Descender? Have you not read Descender yet? What did you think of the title? Let us know down in the comments. Appreciate you all tuning in. Thank you. And until next time, as always... You stay classy, Internet.